Hello everybody, welcome back, Sims Life here. So I kind of want to take a minute to explain. Um, I know I've been gone for almost two years, but I think I'm kind of ready to get back into it. Um, part of the problem was is that, you know, I played The Sims 3 and this channel was uh, dedicated to uh, helping people on things that I might have gotten stuck on and had a hard time finding, so I would just do a video on it, you know, and help other people that might have had the same problem. But The Sims 3 had killed my graphics card, <laughs> so I ended up having to get a new computer. <laughs> and I was afraid that The Sims 3 was going to kill this one too. So I put The Sims 3 on the back burner and stopped all together. And um, what's it called? Uh, and then I started playing The Sims 4. But I do have another computer that's on the way. I ordered it. And it's a custom built one. So I know it's going to be able to handle everything that I want to do. And I figure that, you know, I can kind of mix it up because I'm going to probably do a little bit of both Sims 3 and Sims 4, you know, once I get my new one. Right now, it's just going to be like little basic tutorials of things that I've learned over time. Um, but that's pretty much it for that. So with that said, let's learn some stuff, shall we? There are two things that I kind of want to touch on in this tutorial. I am using Blender 2.70. <laughs> okay, so the two things I want to touch on is inverse kinematics and posing from reference. So. For inverse kinematics, you want to click on the ankle. We'll start with that one. And then you come right over here. It's right next to this bone here. It looks like it's got a bone and like a little chain link. You click on that, add bone constraint, and you come right down here to inverse kinematics. Click that. And right here where it says chain link, change the zero to three and hit enter. And what that does is now when I hit the, the G key, it will move the whole leg together. And then you want to come over and you want to do the same thing. Hit the ankle. You have to hit the joint first. Add bone constraint. Inverse kinematics, change the chain length to three. Then use the G key again. Now you can move the whole thing. And then what you want to do is come here, click on the, the hand point, add bone constraint, inverse kinematics. Now for this one, you can use three or four. If you use four, hit enter. When you hit the G key, it will move. It'll move the whole arm, including the clavicle. If you use just three, it just moves up to the shoulder. It's just all personal preference. It's just however you want to pose. Then you do the same thing the other arm. I, I prefer three for myself, you know, and then I can just adjust the clavicle as needed. And you can also do the same thing to the fingers. You just hit the fingertip, add bone constraint, inverse kinematics, and three. Um, for, the, for the fingers, um, I like to pose with them uh, just normally. <clears throat> What I like to do is I come down here to this bar here and right here on this one, you click this one, individual origins, and then you can just click on one of the joints, hit shift, hold shift, and then you can click on them. You can click on all of them, <laughs> just like this. And then when you use the R key, 
you can move them all together like this in a, in a smooth motion. And then I just adjust the fingers individually as needed. Um, and if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to use the, uh, if you just want to like, just say you want to just pose the ankle normally, just use the R key and then you can just rotate it. Um, I think G is like the global rotation and R is just the regular rotation. Oops. <laughs> so the next one I want to cover is posing from reference. And I know you can tab over and then you can see the image that you're working off of on your screen, but I like to import mine into Blender. I didn't know you can do that. Um, I've not seen anybody do that in a video, so I found out by accident. <laughs> um, but what you want to do first is come up here to File. Because first you want to make sure that you know that it's set up that you can do it. Go down to user preference. Uh, make sure you're under add-ons. Go to enabled and make sure that you have Im import export import images as planes. If you don't if it's not there, if you don't see it, go to disabled and look for it here so you can enable it. And then once you've enabled it, save user settings. Okay. So once you do that, now you can go to file, go to, go to import. And it's mine's you know, right here, import, you know, right here, images as planes, click that. And then go to wherever you have your image set. I, I saved, I saved a photo just for this tutorial here. So you're going to click on it and then you hit import images as planes. And there's the image right here. And then you can go to right here where it says rotation, click on the X, hit 90, enter. And now it's standing upright. And here you can move it back and forth, up or down. You can right here where it says scale, you can make it wider, taller, so you can see it, so you can see it better, you know. I just like to have the image right next to me, you know, where I'm working, so that way, you know, <clears throat> you know I can see all the points without having to, you know, tab in and out and keep looking. To me, it just makes my life e easier, and I figure I would just go ahead and throw it in, add it in this video, so that way you guys can do the same thing. And when you're done with the image, if you don't want it anymore, you know, you can just, you know, click back onto the image. If you, you know, I, you can left click on to, or right click to it, I'm sorry. And if you're having trouble clicking on it, it's over here, you know, you just click on it here. And then make sure you're on your screen. Don't, don't do it from here. Make sure you're on, on your screen. Hit your delete key and delete it and that's it so anyways guys that's it for this tutorial i hope it was helpful leave it a like if i've helped you don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys